Good morning, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. We're still in Pennsylvania, and I thought, you know, I'm about an hour away from a kind of a tragic site. Not a kind of a tragic site, a very tragic site. It's going to be a sad vlog, but I think we, I think we definitely owe it to the people who died during this to come out and see their memorial. So, Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. Lots of nice big hills and roller coaster type drives out here on our way to the, sadly, the Flight 93 Memorial. September 11th, 2001. Stoystown, that's where we're looking for. I remember waking up that morning and seeing the commotion that was going on. It's so sad that we we even are having to come here. It should have never happened. Let's go pay our respects. There's a castle. Here it is. Now I believe the memorial itself um, is a couple miles out and um, it's a big walk around so you can actually walk around where the, the crash site was. We're gonna stop at the um, Tower of Voices first. So this is the first stop of the memorial. It's called the Tower of Voices. A monumental 93 foot tall instrument, the Tower of Voices marks the gateway to and from this expansive living memorial landscape. Forty chimes represent the voices of the 40 courageous passengers and crew members who took a vote to come together and fight terrorism on the morning of September 11, 2001. The music of the chimes is a living tribute to these 40 men and women, many whose last message to loved ones were through telephone calls and recorded voice messages. There are no other wind chime towers in the world like the Tower of Voices. Tower of Voices contains aluminum tubular chimes which create music when the wind blows through the concrete tower. Let's go take a closer look. So this particular story was that this was the flight headed from Newark to San Francisco that was hijacked by three terrorists and they immediately killed the pilot and co-pilot and then told the passengers they had a bomb. And the passengers were all moved to the back of the plane and they started calling their family and relatives, telling them they loved them. And they started to find out that other planes had been hijacked that same day and that uh, that some had already crashed into the World Trade Center and later as they were calling they would find out that some had crashed into the Pentagon. So as they started calling their family they started to realize that maybe this guy, one of the terrorists didn't have a bomb and even if he did they weren't going to survive anyway so they courageously decided to storm the cockpit, storm the man with the supposed bomb, and took this sucker down to stop it from, or stop the terrorists from crashing this into an important building causing more death, like in Twin Towers.
So we're gonna follow this path a couple of miles back because the reason this memorial is here is this is sadly the crash site and um, obviously because of the crash and everything there many of the uh, the bodies were not completely recovered so this is their memorial what a courageous act you know you think if you think about it when you take a flight you look around at the people on the flight with you and you you'll never know their names you'll never see them again you'll never think about them again and these poor people boarded a flight and their entire world life and history changed for their families and this country I just can't help but look at these skies and think of the fear and acceptance that those poor passengers must have felt as it was coming down. Honest to God, it just makes your heart hurt to even think about this day. And I know it was 20, 20 years ago and it just, it still feels like it just happened. Here you can see, we're gonna be visiting the Memorial Plaza right here, and also the impact site. Then we'll go visit the Wall of Names. And it says here, America attacked. The morning of September 11, 2001, Al-Qaeda terrorists hijacked four commercial U.S. airliners that are departing from East Coast airports. The terrorists fly two jet airliners into the World Trade Center Twin Towers in New York City and a third aircraft into the Pentagon in Arlington. A fourth aircraft, United Flight 93, crashes into an open field near rural Shanksville, Pennsylvania, killing all on board. The four aircraft strikes kill nearly 3,000 people. The deadliest attack on American soil by any foreign or terrorist group. And here's the flight path that they took that day. They departed Newark late, went out, and then whipped around when they found out about the Pentagon, then crashed right there. Here were those aboard, and I think every single one of them deserves to be seen. Pilot and co-pilot. Sandy here, her husband said he had been begging her to quit being a flight attendant for a while and just stay home and raise the kids and she just loved being a flight attendant. Todd Beamer. He called his wife and told her they were going to storm the cockpit and left the phone when they went to do it. You could hear the let's roll, his phrase he would say often when they went to heroically take over the cabin. Rest in peace, all of you. That's a photo of the wreckage. So once we get out to the Wall of Names, the way that the wall goes is the flight path in which the plane was coming in. The park ranger said to look for the open hemlock gate and that will be the way that the airplane was facing as it came in. Yeah. I 
was mentioning that they have a big hike out here, like a big couple mile jaunt that you can take if you want. If you stop at the visitor center, which is kind of over in that direction, they have a winding trail that brings you around and through all the way out to here. You told me there's a boulder out there behind the impact site. So that looks like the boulder right there in front of those trees. Yeah, see this says a 17 ton sandstone boulder was placed in the field to mark the approximate location of the point of impact. So that's what we saw out there. Now we're going to go read the names on the memorial wall over here. So here's the gate. So you can't go past this. But you can see people have left flowers here. And you can see the exact flight path that they've left. Left like a big crater when it crashed. See the boulder? Absolute heroes. No question about it. Take some serious, serious guts to come together and know that you're taking a plane down, that you're not going to survive and do something like that. God bless them all. And then here's the wall. So let's name, or give everyone's name, Christian Adams, flight attendant. Lorraine G. Bay, who was doing her job that day. Todd Beamer. Alan Anthony Beaven. Mark Bingham. Dior Francis Podley. Flight attendant. Sandy Waugh Bradshaw. Marion Britton. Thomas E. Burnett Jr. William Joseph Cashman. Georgine Rose Corrigan. Patricia Cushing. Captain Jason M. Dahl. Joseph DeLuca. Patrick Joseph Driscoll. Edward Porter Felt. Jane C. Folger. Colleen Fraser. Andrew Sonny Garcia. Jeremy Logan Glick. Kristen Osterholm. White Gould, Lauren Catuzzi, Grancolas, and her unborn child. Wanda Anita Green, that was also a flight attendant. Thank you for your service, ma'am. Donald Freeman Green, Linda Gronland, Richard Guadagno, First Officer Leroy Homer, Toshia Kuge, Flight Attendant C.C. Ross Lyles. <laughs> Hilda Marchin. Valeska Martinez. Nicole Carol Miller. Louis J. Naki II. Donald Arthur Peterson, G. 
Gene Hoadley Peterson, Mark David Rothenberg, Christine Ann Snyder, John Talignani, Honor Elizabeth Hoyneo, and the flight attendant Deborah Jacobs Welsh. And I think if you take a tour with one of the park rangers, they actually will walk you back to the boulder. Because I saw some flowers out there. You can see some people down there coming and going all day, paying respects. Let's go take one more look before we call it a day. This was, this was a heavy experience, you know. I just turned 40 and this was really the biggest day in history that I could ever remember in my lifetime. Well, my friends, we're going to call it a day. I want to thank Alonso Picardo for becoming my newest Patreon. And, uh, you know, I think if there's anything positive that we can take away from this, it's always let those that you love know that you love them. Well, you can, because you never know when something will happen unforeseen that makes it your last day on this earth. Bless those on Flight 93. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Good.